Good morning and welcome to Thursday morning prayer. My name is Canon Andrew Wheaton from St Luke's Walls End. Today we remember Cyril, Bishop of Jerusalem from the fourth century. Our Psalms are Psalm 41 and 44 verses 1 to 9 and our reading from Luke chapter 19 verses 1 to 10. This is the message we have heard from Christ, that God is light, in whom there is no darkness at all. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, so, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. See the Lord God coming with power, coming to rule with his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God, the recompense for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. He will hold them to his breast and gently lead those that are with young. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are they that consider the poor and helpless. The Lord will deliver them in the day of trouble. The Lord will guard them and preserve their life. They shall be counted happy in the land. You will not give them over to the will of their enemies. And if they lie sick on their bed, the Lord will sustain them. If illness lays them low, you will overthrow it. I said, O Lord, be merciful to me, toward me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me, saying, When will he die and his name perish forever? And if someone comes to see me, they mouth empty words. While their heart gathers mischief, and when they go out, they vent it. All those that hate me whisper together against me. They devise plots against me. They say, a deadly thing has got hold of him. He will not get up again from where he lies. Even my bosom friend in whom I trusted, who shared my bread, has lifted his heel against me. But you, O Lord, be gracious and raise me up and I will repay them what they have deserved. By this will I know that you favour me, that my enemy shall not triumph over me. Because of my innocence you hold me fast. You have set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. Amen. We have heard with our ears, O God, our forebears have told us what things you did in their time in the days of old, how by your own hand you drove out the nations and planted us in, how you crushed the peoples but caused us to root and grow. For it was not by their swords that our fathers took possession of the land, nor did their own arm get them the victory, but your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you delighted in them. You are my King and my God, who ordained victory for Jacob. By your power we struck our enemies through. In your name we trod down those that rose against us, for I did not trust in my bow, nor could my sword save me but it was you that delivered us from our enemies. 
and put our adversaries to confusion. In God we made our boast all the day long. We gave thanks to your name without ceasing. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as he came to share our human nature, so we may be partakers in his divine glory, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through it. A man was there named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd he could not, because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to save him, to see him because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, he has gone to, the guest, to be the guest of one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, look, Half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed on his name, he has given power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of a man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory. Glory is of the only Son from the Father. And from his fullness have we all received. And grace upon grace. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace, and in the renewal of our lives make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for the world and the church, and as we begin this day we uphold to God all the things that may weigh heavy on our hearts this day, all the things we are thankful for, all the people we, will know, we know we will meet this day. 
and all the work that lies before us in service of the gospel. We pray for the first peoples of the diocese, especially the Awabako, Biripai, Darkenjung, Gibugal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. We pray for our diocese, for Bishop Peter and Nikki. Pray for the diocesan ministries team, Jane, Therese, Megan and Brendan. In the wider church, we pray for the diocese of Guadalcanal, the Anglican Church of Kenya, the Lutheran Church of Australia. In the National Church, we pray for the Diocese of Riverina. In our diocese, we pray for Anglican care, Morpeth, uh, the parish of Morpeth, the parishes of Mount Vincent, Curry Curry and Weston, and the parish of Raymond Terrace. Pray for the Queen, the Governor General, and we continue to pray for royal commissions as they undertake their work. We pray for those who are on our hearts this day, particularly those known to us in our parishes, in our family, life and friends who are unwell, lonely, anxious or grieving, that God may give them his Holy Spirit to journey with them and bring them peace and comfort and healing this day. We pray for all who've been affected and infected by the COVID-19 pandemic, for their families and friends, for those who've lost their lives, for doctors, nurses, medical experts, and especially those now rolling out the vaccine. We pray that that vaccine may reach all people, regardless of wealth or social status, all over the world. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power. Protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace equip us with everything good, so that we may do his will. And may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever. Amen.